hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um i wanted to talk about today um glorilla because you know i have talked about her in the past and that um you know she is a walk-in insurance policy okay y'all and each day that passes it seems as if you know um you know i'm being proven right okay it seems as if your guy is dropping the ball with her y'all Ever since he signed her, she has been catching it, y'all. Seriously, she been catching it. Right, y'all remember right after he signed her, Yo Gotti. She went to Detroit and she had a little problem there. Okay. And ever since then, it's been on and off problems here and there, here and there. Now, I don't know why she keeps going on social media and saying the things that she's saying, the disgusting, nasty things that she's saying, because it's making people just look at her as she's just nasty, okay? And she ain't got too many screws up there in her head because of the way she talks, okay, y'all? Um, She done went to several concerts and been dis disrespected by people just, just going to the concert, y'all. Now, y'all remember back here when, you, you know, um, what's his name, Yellow Beezy? did a concert and people was going there just to clown him. They don't really like him. They just was going there to start some stuff with him. Well, it seems as if this is what is happening to Miss Glorilla now, y'all. Is this her karma for playing with God, y'all? Because we just, you know, I just put up a video about her um, when she was younger and she, you know, they, she, they throwing up all the little Illuminati signs and mess like that and satanic symbols. And then she recently do, do, did a little video and you know or did a little post a picture or whatever and she um was doing the one eye symbolism y'all and i told y'all this back then i said you know sometimes you know satan give them a little bit longer than others to enjoy that money and sometimes as soon as they you know sign their name on the dotted line they get taken out well another place she went to um uh, word on the street is somebody you know spat on her okay y'all one of the concert goers, they, this is what I heard, okay? Now, I don't know if it's 100% true, I'm going to say allegedly, but this is what, you know, was going around. Then, I, you know, somebody sent me recently a video footage of one of her concerts. And somebody in the audience, while she was talking or singing or whatever she was doing up there, they threw a jacket or something on the stage and, you know, it looked like it hit her or whatever. But she stopped from doing whatever she was doing on stage or whatever. And she um, addressed it. And she was like, who threw the jacket up here? You know, her concerts are starting to become a joke. The only time that she's not a joke is she is, um, you know, doing concerts with Cardi B and stuff like that. And I think, you know, that's the only thing that's kind of keeping her afloat, to be honest, y'all. Because sooner or later, people are going to get tired of listening to that one song that they like. Um, I don't know what her numbers are doing because I haven't been keeping up with nothing like that. But for people to be paying money to come there just to do stuff to her, you know, you got to think about that. Um, when you got to stop and talk to the audience and tell people, you know, um, ask people who threw that. and Somebody told on the person that threw it. Okay, they did. They they told. And um, she was like, little girl, don't you do that no more. Don't you throw nothing up here at me. You know, when you got to stop and do stuff like that, you know, people are coming there to clown you. They're not respecting her, y'all. And it's a part of them not respecting her because of all the, you know, Yo Gotti and, you know, Young Dolph stuff. Okay, now you know that she was riding for Young Dolph at first. And I get it, y'all. I get it. You know, Young Dolph is gone. And, you know, Yo Gotti offered her a deal. And she got to take care of her family. I get it. Okay? But um, as a rapper, you know, a lot of rappers are being called out on not, you know, um, they were not meaning anything. If you claim that, you know, you calling somebody, you know, you know, 
Pogati. Y'all know what she was saying. And then now you sign to him and this and that and that and this. You know, that got to feel kind of odd too, okay? To even be around your Gotti and his, you know, his label members and you was talking about them the way you were talking about them. So they got to gotta be odd in itself. But like I said, I get it. She got to pay, you know, her. She got to take care of her family. So, you know, she signed the deal. But a lot of people ain't forgiving that, y'all. They're not forgiving it. And they're looking at her some type of way. All right. And um, a lot of stuff been going on with her. And, you know, I my thing is, my thing is, you know, you done already jumped into the industry. And now you're starting to do this, you know, push this agenda. Just like all the other devil worshippers pushing this agenda. She's jumping in head first doing that. And, you know, she's losing a lot of respect for that because people is thinking that, you know, you didn't have to use that to get in the industry. So why do you have to use that now? People's looking at her like that. Okay. Um, not to mention she's mocking God. All right. So is this why she got this dark cloud over her head and all this stuff is going on with her? Because, you know, now you go from people trying to, you know, throw stuff on the stage and all this stuff to now she goes and do a concert and i think she did let me look it up she did a concert with um cardi b y'all she did a concert with cardi b and um when they were at the venue let me go to it really really quick i had it up here and i took it back down y'all i'm tripping she goes to the venue This was Wednesday. They said she had a successful tour stop at um, New York City's Irving Plaza Wednesday night. But we're told outside the venue, New York Police Department was busy arresting her driver, y'all. This is what they're saying. This is what the report came in. Now, her driver, mind you, I don't know if it's her driver, her, her security too. I don't even know, y'all. But... This is what law enforcement said. New York Police Department officers say they observed a man named Cameron Blackman set off a metal detector inside the venue. So I guess he went, you know, was going in the venue with her or whatever, whatever. And um, he set off the metal detectors. So apparently he must have went back to the cop. Maybe he wasn't supposed to have no weapons on him or whatever, whatever. But um, he went to the car, but he stayed out front of the venue, okay? He said he sit right outside the front, which makes sense because if you got a celebrity that you're um, their driver or security, whatever he is, because he was loaded up, okay, in that car. But whatever he is, don't it make sense for him to be able to park somewhere where when she come out that she can come straight to the car? It don't make sense for him to be have to park down the street somewhere or in the parking lot somewhere when you're supposed to be protecting this artist from any harm coming to her, okay? So law enforcement are saying um, that after investigating the scene, they found Blackman sitting in the driver's seat of a Suburban as well as two semi-automatic pistols, y'all. We're told that officers arrested Blackman for criminal possession of a firearm, ammo, and a switchblade. He was ready for war, y'all. He had all, everything up in there, okay? And also gave him a parking ticket for posting up in the neutral zone in front of the Irving Plaza. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Some seems like it's odd about this. I don't know if um, when you sign a deal with, you know, record labels, are they obligated to protect you or do you have to pay for your own protection? That's the thing I need to find out because, you know, it, sh it seemed like that would come along with the deal. If you sign an artist that you would place the right people around this artist so that if they taking them in a the venue or whatever, they got the paperwork to carry, you know, um, weapons so that they could protect this person that is doing the concerts and stuff like that it just seemed like she got a target on her back y'all and then she having this bad luck because you know she mocking god now you just got an award at the award shows and all this stuff and now you're feeling that you want to push this agenda too to be showing this one eye symbolism and playing with god and stuff like that you know um is this gonna come back and bite her in the butt 
y'all playing with God and stuff like that because that's what it seems like right now she seems like she's starting to have a lot of streak y'all of bad luck right now and I'm just wondering now you know is your God dropping a ball on her do he not even care about her safety and putting the right people around her that she can go in and out of concerts and you would think uh, even if it you know don't you have a manager that's supposed to handle that type of stuff and make sure that people that are around you have the right, you know, paperwork? I'm just saying to even carry any kind of weapons. If your driver get arrested, then who is going to drive you somewhere? If your driver is a part of your security, then that makes you vulnerable when you're going in and out of venues. She's seeming like, um, I don't know, I'm looking at it like they're taking off people away from around her now. When she's going out to do shows that has weapons to protect her. And when somebody when when stuff like this is happening, make it make sense as to why. Just all I'm saying, y'all. Okay? Because I do believe that, you know, she's at that stage right now that she signed this deal. And you know when you first sign a deal, you gotta turn around and make a bunch of money to pay people back that gave you the money to sign that you signed a deal with. So she owes your Gotti money right now, y'all. Okay? I want y'all to think about that. She owes him money right now. And the only reason that she's kind of keeping her head above water is because, you know, she called herself making friends with Carly B, which you got to be careful who you make friends with in the industry as well. Okay? Because a lot of people will throw you under the bus in a sacrifice just so they can save their own family members. Okay? So you that's another thing that she really has to be careful about. So, you are doing a concert with Cardi B now and stuff like this. And at the same time, you could, you know, you come out the, the venue, you don't have a driver? I found that odd, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Because something is a, definitely a brewing with her. Now, it's bad enough that she jumps on social media and makes herself look bad. You know, how she talk about, you know, eating french fries with, you know, man the juice is on it okay y'all baby juice and then um she talked about stuff she don't know which don't make no sense you know you don't know what pork is you know stuff like that that's a little bit odd that make it look like she ain't had no kind of you know schooling and then you know you're going to concerts and you constantly getting disrespected and you know out of all the stuff i think the main important part of it all is your driver's got to be on port and your security got to be on point because if you don't have a good driver that has your back and you don't have good security, um, you are left out here in the cold, out here by yourself. And I'm just wondering about her. Is your Gotti really not caring about her life right now? Because it just don't seem like it to me, y'all. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this whole incident about her driver getting busted with, you know, weapons and being arrested while she's inside possibly doing a show this is weird y'all they are pulling people from around her while she's in the midst of doing a show you know the police should have been like you know well he's you know her driver you know give him a ticket or citation or something but they arrested this man that tells y'all a lot something is a brewing with her as well so pay attention to this one y'all okay Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.